Hello friends! Today I want to make a beret. So I've knitted a beret before. Today I want to try and do a crocheted beret. My plan is to work in the round and this is the diagram I've come up with for what I'm going to be doing. But before we jump in today, let's talk about what you're going to need to make this project. First things first, you're going to need a crochet hook. I'm using a six millimeter hook today. You will also need some scissors and stitch markers if you've got them. If not, a short piece of yarn will work just fine. You'll also need some yarn. I'm using this chunky gray yarn with rainbow flecks in it today. So gather your supplies and let's do it. We're going to begin today's project with a slip knot. Then chain three. One, two, and three. Now in the third chain from the hook, so one, two, three, in this chain here, double crochet seven times. Seven times into that same chain stitch. So there's one, two, three, and seven. So if you count your stitches at this point, you will have eight stitches in the round here. So we're going to join that round with a slip stitch at the top of the chain two. And there's round number one. For round number two, we're going to begin with a chain of two, one and two, and then we'll turn the circle around. For round number two, we're going to start with a double crochet into the base of that chain two. And you can see there's two double crochets now coming out of that one stitch. So we're going to do that all the way around. We're going to do two double crochets in each stitch around. So there's one, and there's two. And we'll repeat that two double crochets in each stitch around. So at the end of this round, you should have 16 stitches in your round. All right, here I am at my last stitch of the round, stitch number 16, and now I'm going to join round number two at that first chain two stitch with a slip stitch, and then I'm going to chain two, one and two, and then turn the circle. For round number three, we're going to begin with a double crochet at the base of that chain two, And then in the next stitch, we're just gonna do one double crochet. In the stitch after that, we're going to put two double crochets. So there's one, and there's two. And in the following stitch, we're just gonna do one double crochet. In the stitch after that, we'll do two double crochets. There's one, and there's two. And in the stitch after that, we'll just put one double crochet. I'm going to just zoom through the rest of this round because it is a repeat of the exact same thing. At the end of this round, you should have 24 stitches. So here I am at the last stitch of round number three. I'm gonna complete my double crochet and then I'm going to join the round at the top of that chain two with a slip stitch chain two and turn. For round number four, I'm going to start with a double crochet into the base of the chain two, and then I'm going to double crochet one time into the next two stitches. So there's number one, there's number two, and at the next stitch, I am going to double crochet two times in that next stitch. There's one, and there's two, and then I'll double crochet into the next two stitches. There's one, and there's two. And I am going to repeat this all the way around this round number four, double crochet in two stitches, then two double crochets in the next stitch. I'm gonna zoom through this part because it's the same repeat, and I'll see you at the end of round number four. Here I am at the end of round number four. I'm just going to join my round with a slip stitch at the top of the chain two, then I'll chain two again and turn the work. For round number five, I'm going to start again with a double crochet into the base of the chain two. Then I'm going to double crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, 
and three. And in the next stitch, I'm gonna put two double crochets. There's one, and there's two. Then I'm going to double crochet into the next three stitches. There's one, two, and three. And in the next stitch, I'll do two double crochets. And for the rest of round number five, I'm going to repeat that pattern just to do increases every three stitches. I'll see you at the end of round number five. And here I am at the end of round number five. I'm just gonna join this round with a slip stitch and then I'll start round number six with a chain two. All right, so we're going to be doing another round with increases, but I wanna show you a little trick to make it easier to know when you need to increase. We're gonna be working around this way. You're gonna see at one point, there will be the increase stitch from the previous row. You can see right here, two stitches are coming out of that space. So you'll do one of those stitches, but the second stitch, that's where you're gonna put your increases. So we can move around to the next double right here. We'll be putting a double crochet here and then two double crochets in that stitch. If you're having trouble remembering the number of stitches, just follow where those increases are and it'll tell you where you're gonna put your increase this time. So let's start round number six. I'm gonna begin this round like I've began all the others before it with a double crochet into the base of that chain two. Now we're going to double crochet into the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. And now you can see we're at that increase stitch right here. So we're gonna put two double crochets into that one. There's one and there's two. Now we'll put one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. And now you can see we're at one of those increases again. We're gonna put two double crochets in that next stitch. There's one and there's two. And we are going to repeat that all the way around for round number six. Four double crochets and then two double crochets in the next stitch. I'll see you at the end of round number six. Here I am at the end of round number six. I'll just join with a slip stitch and then chain two and turn. For round seven, it's another row of increases. So I am going to do a double crochet at the base of the chain two. Then I'm going to double crochet into the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. And you can see now we are at one of those increases. So we're gonna do two double crochets in that next stitch. There's one and there's two. Now I'm going to double crochet into the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're at an increase again, so I'll put two double crochets in that next stitch. And I'm going to repeat that all the way around for round number seven. I'm gonna zoom through this part and I'll see you at the end of the round. And here I am at the end of round number seven. I'm going to join with a slip stitch and chain two and turn. For round number eight, we're gonna follow the same thing again, but again with a new increase number. So we'll start with a double crochet in the base of that chain two. Then we're going to double crochet into the next six stitches. And in the stitch after that, we're going to put two double crochets. Then we'll double crochet into the next six stitches. Then we'll put two double crochets into the next stitch the same kind of increase we've been working. Work your crochets until you see the increased stitch from the row prior. And in the following stitch, put two double crochets. And I am going to repeat that all the way around, just zooming through these double crochets and putting two double crochets in each increase stitch from the round prior. I'll see you at the end of round number eight. 
And here I am at the end of round number eight. I'm going to just join with a slip stitch and then I'll start round two with a chain of two and I'll turn. For round number nine, we'll begin with a double crochet into the base of the chain two. And now we're going to count out nine stitches for this increase section. So that means we're going to do seven stitches, seven double crochets, and then two double crochets in the eighth stitch. I'll show you. Seven double crochets first. One, two, three, and seven. And now we're at one of those increase stitches from the previous row. So we're going to do two double crochets in the next stitch. There's one and there's two. And that's what I mean by nine double crochets in each section. So we did nine double crochets total here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're on round number nine and our increase sections are in groups of nine. So now I'm going to do seven double crochets and then in the next stitch after those seven double crochets, I'll put two double crochets in the same stitch. I'm gonna repeat that increase all the way around. I'll see you at the end of round number nine. And here I am at the end of round number nine. I'll join with a slip stitch, chain two and turn. For round number 10, we'll be doing the same thing, the same kind of increase. So we're starting with a double crochet at the base of the chain two. Then we're going to double crochet into the next nine stitches. One, two, three, eight, Oh, excuse me, we're going to double crochet into the first eight stitches, and now we're at one of those increases again. So we're going to put stitch number nine and 10, two double crochets into the next stitch. So this is in groupings of 10. Now we'll double crochet into the next eight stitches. One, two, and eight. Now you can see we are back at one of those increases from the previous row. We'll do two double crochets in the next stitch. And for the rest of round number 10, I am going to repeat that pattern and I will meet you back here at the end of round number 10. Here I am at the end of round number 10. I'm gonna join the round with a slip stitch, chain two and turn. And now we have one more round with these increases before we're going to be doing something a little different for this beret. So we're gonna start with a double crochet into the base of the chain two. Then we're going to double crochet into the next nine stitches. One, two, and nine. And now, as you can see, we are up to one of those increase stitches from the previous row. So I'm going to put two double crochets into that next stitch. Then I'll double crochet into the next nine stitches and I'll put two double crochets into the following stitch. I'm gonna repeat that all the way around for round number 11, and when I get to the end of round 11, I'll join with a slip stitch and chain two. I'll see you at the end of the round. All right, and here I am at the end of round number 11. This is looking awesome, starting to give beret vibes, in my opinion. We're gonna start round number 12 with a chain of two and turn the work. And now let's just have a quick look at this beautiful circle. So you can see we've got increases all throughout. And at this point, the rectangle measures about 10 and a half inches across or 27 centimeters across. So that's how big I am making mine. For the next three rows, that's rows number 12, 13, and 14. We're just going to double crochet across. So here we are on round number 12. We're gonna start not with a double crochet in the base of the chain here, but we're going to double crochet into the second stitch because we're not doing an increase on this round. Rounds number 12, 13, and 14, we're going to double crochet all the way around with no increases. So as there is no increase stitch or special stitches of any kind, I'm just going to zoom through these three rounds and I will see you at the end of round number 14. Okay, so I'm coming up to the end of round number 14 now, and good news is the beret is looking fantastic. Bad news is we're almost out of yarn here. I'm getting a little bit nervous as I'm playing yarn chicken, and I think we're going to need to come up with a bit of a solution here, as I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish the beret with just this one ball of yarn. Let me zoom through the end of this last bit, and then we'll talk about what we'll do next. 
So my plan now, here's the tail, here's what I've got. That's all the yarn I have left. So now for this next section, I'm going to be doing decreases. We've done all of the increases we need to do, then we did three rows, just straight double crochets, and now we're going to be doing decreases to bring the hat back down. I think we'll be able to get around one more round, maybe two with this yarn before we're gonna need to have another solution. So I'm going to start incorporating that solution right now for round number 15. I'm going to use a couple different yarns to make up for this yarn. I'm going to use this adorable sort of lumpy yarn. You can see what it looks like. I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna pair it with this rainbow sock yarn. I think it has a similar feel. I don't need to incorporate this one just yet, but I am gonna start incorporating this one at this point. So I'm gonna finish the round with a slip stitch, but I'm going to slip stitch with both pieces of yarn, the new color incorporated also. And then I'm going to chain two with both pieces of yarn, one and two. And then I'll turn the work. So for round number 15, we're going to begin with double crochet two together. So we're not going to put a double crochet into the base of that chain two because the chain two is the stitch there. But these next two stitches, we're going to double crochet them together. Here's how I do that. I do a yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch and pull up a loop. Then I insert the hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. Now I've got four loops on my hook. I yarn over and I pull through three of the loops and then I yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops. And there is how I do a double crochet two together. Then I'm going to double crochet into the next nine stitches. One, two, and nine. Now on that 10th stitch, we're going to double crochet two together. So I'm gonna insert the hook into the first stitch and pull up a loop, then insert into the next stitch and pull up a loop, then yarn over pulling through three of the loops on the hook, then yarn over pulling through the remaining two hoops. Then I'll double crochet into the next nine stitches and I will repeat that decrease. I'm going to do that all the way around, decreasing every nine stitches until I get back to the end of round number 15. And I'll see you there. Okay, here I am at the end of round number 15. I'm gonna join with a slip stitch to join the round. And I think I'm gonna play yarn chicken and try to do round number 16 with the old yarn before we switch into the new fluffy yarn for the brim. So we're gonna start uh, round number 16 with a chain of two will turn the work around. So I'm going to skip that first stitch and we are going to double crochet two together for the second stitch and the third stitch. So I'm gonna yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch and pull up a loop, insert the hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops. Now I'm going to double crochet into the next eight stitches. One, two, and eight. And then I'm going to double crochet two together for the next one, and two. And then I'll double crochet into the next eight. And I'm gonna repeat that decrease pattern all the way around for round number 16. Hopefully, I'm going to have enough yarn. So I'm gonna zoom through this and I'll meet you there to tell you if I made it or not. <laughs> All right, so it looks like I'm losing at yarn chicken, but I'm only this far away from the beginning of the round. And I think I'm going to actually just switch the yarn here, even though I'm not at the beginning of a round. I'm technically, I still have like 10 stitches left here, but I'm just going to do it and we're just gonna be cool with it. So first I'm gonna wind this ball up. All right, now I'm going to complete my next double crochet here halfway. So I'm gonna do yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. And then on the last pull through, I'm gonna do it with the new yarn incorporated. Now I'm just going to finish round number 16 with the new yarn and this will be the back of the hat. <laughs> so no one will be the wiser. All right, so this is the new yarn. 
you could barely notice it. So this is just going to be the bottom back of the hat and that way the yarn color change isn't going to be upsetting. All right, so we're gonna start row number 17 with a chain of two one and two and now for round number 17 we're going to start we're going to skip the chain at the base of the chain then we're going to double crochet two together for the next stitches it's a little bit more difficult with this yarn because it's a little bit chunkier but i'll get used to it now i'm going to double crochet into the next seven stitches and then i'll double crochet two together for the next stitches then I'll double crochet into the next seven stitches and then double cro crochet two together. I'm gonna repeat this decrease with seven double crochets in between each decrease stitch all the way around for round number 17. And I will see you back here at the end of the round. All right, here I am at the end of round number 17. I'm gonna chain two and turn. And now we're about to do our last round of decreases before we work on the brim of the beanie, or the brim of the beret, rather. All right, so for the first stitch, we're gonna skip the chain. We're not gonna put a double crochet in there. And then in the next two stitches, we're going to double crochet two together. One, and then we'll pick up our second loop, two, and now we're gonna double crochet into the next six stitches. It's a little bit hard to see here because I'm using this fluffy yarn, but it'll be easier for you. Just double crochet into the next six stitches. And six. And then in the next two stitches, we're gonna double crochet two together. So there's one, there's two, yarn over, pull through three loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And then I'm going to double crochet into the next six stitches, and then I'll double crochet two together. I'm gonna to repeat that all the way around, and this is our last round of decreases. So I'm gonna zoom through it, and I will see you at the end of the round. So here I am at the end of round number 18, and I kind of am being driven absolutely nuts by this thick yarn and I think I have to change yarns now. I'm gonna leave it though because I think that it looks kind of cute like a little mushroom um, but I'm going to change the thick yarn for two strands of thinner yarn. I'm gonna go for a dark gray and a cream color so we're gonna have dark gray cream and rainbow replacing this sort of brown. I don't have any more brown beige but I think that the gray and the cream will it'll do what I need. So I'm going to just trim this yarn here and I'm going to join the round and then start round number 19 with a chain of two. Now for round number 19, we're going to just double crochet around. This time though, because it's such a snug stitch, I don't wanna double crochet into that top part of the stitch. Instead, I'm gonna double crochet between each of these double crochet stitches. I'm just gonna put one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. There's nothing crazy going on in this round, just double crochet all the way around and I'll see you at the end of round number 19. All right, here I am at the end of round number 19. I'm going to join with a slip stitch here, and then I'll chain two again, though this time I'm not going to turn the work. I'm going to be staying in the same round. So I'm gonna begin this round with a new type of stitch. For round number 20, we're gonna be doing front post double crochet back post double crochet. We're going to be making a ribbed pattern. For a front post double crochet, you wrap the yarn around your hook, yarn over, insert the hook behind the entire post of the stitch, yarn over again, and then complete a double crochet. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's a front post double crochet. That's gonna pull that stitch forward to make a ribbed stitch. The next stitch is going to be a back post double crochet. So we're gonna yarn over, and then we're gonna take the hook behind the work, and we're going to come grab that whole post, put the hook back down behind the work, and then we're gonna yarn over the hook, pull that hook through, and then we'll yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops. And you can see that will pull the stitch back to make a back rib. And the next stitch is going to be a front post double crochet again. And the one after that will be a back post double crochet. If you need a more 
in-depth, detailed tutorial on the front post, back post, double crochet rib stitch. I will link my tutorial in the corner now so that you can go check that out and practice a little bit before you get to this point. At this point, I'm going to front post, back post, double crochet all the way around round number 20 and I will meet you at the end of the round to show you what we're gonna do for round number 21. All right, here I am at the end of the round. I'm finishing on a front post double crochet, and then the chain two from the previous round, I am going to just join with a slip stitch right through that space, and you can see that makes it look like a back post. Next, I am going to drop the white yarn. I decided I don't care for it anymore. So I'm going to drop the white yarn, trim that at this point, I'm going to crochet over those ends, and I am going to do two more rounds of front post double crochet, back post double crochet around the project. So I'm going to start with a chain two, one and two, and then I am going to continue along with my front post, back post double crochet repeat all the way around for this round and for the one after it. So for rounds 22 and 23, front post double crochet, back post double crochet around until you get to the end of the round. At the end of the round, slip stitch to join, chain two, and then start the next row. So I'll see you at the end of round number 23. And here I am at the end of my last round. I'm going to join with a slip stitch, pull through a loop. I'm gonna trim my yarn here, and then I'll pull that loop through, and it's time to weave in the ends. Okay, and I do have one last yarn tail from the initial circle we started, and I think I wanna attach something to it on the outside of the beret. I think it would be cute. So I've got this little acorn that I made a long time ago with a bead and some jewelry parts and the top of an acorn. So I think it matches really nicely with the colors in this. So I'm going to use that yarn tail to connect this little acorn to the hat. And guess what? It's finished! Okay, let me back you up a bit. All right, so here is the final beret. What do you think? It's a little chunky, a little oversized. I think it fits though. I think it looks adorable. Let me just show you some of the close-ups and then I will get into what it looks like on. So you can see that we've got increases. We've got eight increases total on this. You'll be able to see lines coming out from the middle. Those are our increases. And I think that yarn was a perfect choice for this project. The little acorn adds a fun little accent to it. And then if we flip her over, you can see we started adding in the colored yarn. Then we switched to that big chunky furry yarn. And then we switched back out to some narrow yarn for the edge. When wearing this, it looks like a little mushroom. <laughs> I think it is the cutest little thing. And I hope that you try and make it and that you wear it also. It's adorable. Look at these colors. Let me know in the comments down below if you liked this beret tutorial and if you're gonna try and make it for yourself. Also, I would love to see pictures of what you make, so send me those on Instagram or in the Discord. Speaking of the Discord, if you would like to join our private community where we share ideas and pictures and talk about what we're working on, definitely check out the links in the description down below. If you join my Patreon, you'll get special access to our private Discord, early access to tutorial videos, and lots of other cool stuff too. So check those out in the description of this video. Speaking of which, thank you so much to my patrons who are supporting me this month. Here is the list of my patrons. You guys rock. Thank you so much. And uh, I hope you liked this video. Anyways, friends, that is all I've got for you for today. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for new videos every week. I'll see you next week. Bye.